Hello, ME bros. This is Jason of Game and & Shocks, and welcome back to eShop Exploration, uh, featuring 3D Doritos. And it's the spicy ranch ones, in case you guys are wondering. Which is very fitting, because um, we're about to start the uh, November 2021 eShop Exploration with the, the most gamery of gamer foods, if that makes sense. Um, so now... Let's start. So, let's just go all... 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 All, 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 all the way down. <laughs> kind of a fitting way to start. We'll start with a uh, lol surprise movie night. You know, the best way to start while I'm having 3D Doritos is just have, just doing lol surprise. Um, why did I click on that? <laughs> I didn't even want to look at this game. Alright, that's a good start, but, uh, no, let's... We're gonna start with, uh, let's start with Guardians of the Galaxy Cloud version, because, uh, for whatever reason, uh, Square Enix can't get the whole game on a, a Switch cartridge, so it's just, here's a Cloud version instead for you guys. Um, I've actually heard that the game's, like, uh, isn't too bad, like, which is surprising considering that I heard the Avengers game was pretty bad. So maybe I'll pick it up some someday. I might even just just <laughs> proceed to purchase maybe. Um, I don't know, but but I've heard it's like it's kind of a, like a nice little surprise, I guess, from what I've heard. Uh, King Leo or just Alex from Madagascar with Crocs that looks very cheap and. Yeah, it just looks like a cheap 3D, not 3D, 2D platformer that I would just find on my phone. It's, it's, be strong like a lion. Like, it's trying to be like the Lion King and then like Madagascar at the same time. It's like, yeah, no. We see past the plagiarism. Uh, Head Over Heels? I've never even heard of this one. I, I don't even know what kind of game it's supposed to be. Is it like a puzzle game? I don't know. Uh, Millie and Greg, uh, Greg must be the cat, I'm assuming. Uh, Jigsaw Fun, Amazing Animals. This is some weird ones that we're starting off with. Uh, Sky Kid, another arcade archives to add to my ever-growing uh, arcade archives collection. Um, let's see. Baron and Max take to the skies, fighting for to protect Birdland. And, uh, let's see. this actually does, looks kind of cute. Looking at these visuals. Um, Sky Kid is a shooter released by O. Namco in 1985. Players control Baron and Max to fight enemies with bombs and machine guns, flying in loops to dodge enemy attacks, and, ma and make their way to the base. Um, okay, so... So is it like, um, Horizontal Xevious? It looks like it. even has Pac-Man. That's kind of neat. So, I mean, it look, doesn't it look like the... Um, Xevious, just from the way like the, um, the pictures look, like it's just like horizontal Xevious. I mean, I don't know if it is like Xevious, but uh, I'll still put it on the wish list. It was like, I mean, it's Namco. Come on, you can never go wrong with a classic Namco arcade game. Uh, Virtuaverse. Hmm, that one looks pretty cool, honestly. Just looking at like these uh these stills. Uh, Fatal Frame. Uh, Fatal Frame Five, I think. Uh, made in the Blackwater. This this finally just got released on. Um, I think it's it it has. I don't. It doesn't have a physical release. It just has like um you know this digital release on all platforms, which is still cool. Uh, holy cow! Milking Simulator. It would have been. Just imagine if it was like whole. Just holy crap! It's just like a holy crap just flying through the sky. <laughs> that'll be that'll be amusing <laughs> and just like. Okay, um, is this just a Bomberman clone? I, again, I, I don't know what kind of game this is supposed to be. Like, we're running into, like, a lot of themes today. Well, like, a couple themes. So, um, a bunch of games I've never heard of, a bunch of cheap-looking games, and a bunch of games that make me, uh, raise an eyebrow. Uh, Hexy... Oh, this one's free. I just noticed that one. It's like Sudoku. Uh, uh, Dollhouse. This one looks familiar. I think, I think I've heard of this one, actually, but I don't really know anything about it. It's just, the name sounds familiar. 
Uh, Horror and Adventure Pinball. Is this a part of the, the other pinball games on the Switch? Or is it just like some DLC? I'm guessing it's like um, its own game, just judging by like the price tag. And it's not like a bundle or anything. Neon Hell, what's this? Oh, it's like the world's hardest game. Like, literally, it is a, just, it is the world's hardest game. Like, uh, on CoolMath, on .com, and, like, all those, like, Flash game websites, this is just the world's hardest game again. But I don't know if it has, uh, different way, method of moving. Uh, so, that's another one where it's just, like, plagiarism somewhat. Uh, PJ Masks, Heroes of the Night. Uh, oh, wait, I, wait, I've actually heard of this show. I've never seen it, but, like, it's just... I just reckon I just recognize these guys. Uh, Mario Party Superstars. This one is this one is on my list for uh, for it's like on my list for Christmas. Um, like I mean, like it's Mario Party. You can never go wrong with Mario Party, and especially since like what I've been hearing about uh, Mario Party Superstars. Like I mean, even just when it was announced at E three um, this year, it looked great. Like just looking at like not just at the visuals, but like. You know, all the characters are here, including my girl Daisy and Rosalina, who was blinking during the, the <laughs> during that screenshot. Um, and, you, and you get to morph Bowser's face. You get to morph Jablinski. Yay. <laughs> um, and then everyone else is still here, which is awesome. Wait. Wait, Aaron Fazbear is Donkey Kong? How did I not know this? How, like, how? How did I not know this? And that, that cake in the last picture... Mwah, beautiful. Um, the rape, the the suicide of Rachel Foss. I'm not gonna go for that one. Especially since we just looked at Mario Party. It's like, nah, I wanna look at another game that gave me <laughs> something like that. Galaxy Shooter, I guess. Is um, you know, my Mario Galaxy Two Let's Play is coming into the, to an end, which I'll I'll explain at the at the end of the video. Uh, Galaxy Shooter is just like um, I guess it's just the Ikaruga, um. But with but it looks different than Ikaruga. It's only five bucks, which is not not too bad. Oh, whoops, whoops. Um, these visuals don't, don't look too bad. Um, but I don't know if I pay like five bucks. Uh, what the hell is this? Cupid Parasite. Well, I guess it's another anim anime game to add to the my ongoing list of anime games that just make me raise too many eyebrows uh, not just raise too many eyebrows but just uh just leaves me going huh who's whose idea was this uh okay and then tunche i've never heard of this game i like the visuals though the visuals look really nice but uh actually maybe it's just like a oh no maybe it's like an, a beat-em-up of some kind hmm this one actually looks kind of Cool. Maybe it'll, maybe it's like um, Streets of Rage Four. No. Oh wait, Hat Kids in this game from um, Hat and Time. I just noticed that. And, and reading the description, a beautiful hand-drawn adventure awaits with five playable characters, featuring Hat Kid and a four-player couch co-op. Uh, this beat 'em up will capture your heart. Yeah, it's so like uh, Hat Kid is here. Um, like this actually looks really nice, actually. I mean, maybe because, like, Hat Kid's in it, maybe it's, like, a, a much more, a more high-profile, like, indie game. Maybe that's why. So, it looks like it's trying to be, a, it's, um, it reminds me of, like, Streets of Rage 4 with the visuals. Maybe that's what, like, its influence is, is Streets of Rage 4. I mean, because that game was a hit, and, um, I can see why, like, I mean, it's a good game to, ba to base your idea on. So, I'll put it on the wish list. Oh. Well then, time to go through some more um, uh, wish list uh, trimming after this video, uh, and then unpacking. I think we're at the the top again. Yeah, we are. Uh, unpacking. I don't know what kind of game this is. Oh yeah, and by the way, like I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but like the the spicy ranch 3D Doritos, they really do pack a punch. Mmm, so good. I've never actually had them until this video. Or until today, actually. Uh, unpack someone's belongings at different stages of their life to learn their story in this Zen puzzle game. Huh. 
You know, this actually, you know, this actually, it looks, it's cute. Like, looking at it, like, you get to, uh, rearrange rooms and, uh, put, like, boxes in there. Like, like, you get to be one with the teenager with their, uh, Windows XP computer from 2001. Um, assuming, <laughs> I don't think, I don't know if Windows XP was around in 2001. Um, but still, you get my point. Um, rearrange bathrooms and other things. Is that a Xbox One in there? No, stop that. Uh, oh yeah, there's like a console. Wait, that's a PlayStation 2 that's in there. That's a And it's like a fat one. That's a neat detail I didn't even notice. I would put that on the wish list, but it's full, so sadly I can't. Uh, Amazing Princess Sarah. Uh, she's such a narcissist. Jesus. Uh, Bloodshore. Oh, it's one of those FMV games. <laughs> What's with that smiling guy? I, hold on, let me see that again. <laughs> what? Who is that guy? Uh, and then Yoga Master. Okay. Uh, well, let's look at the featured, because, like, ever since the last, um, um, eShop exploration, there's been, like, some things that, that have been added, like, uh, this Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise DLC. At first, I thought this was actually part of the Nintendo Switch Online thing, but it turns out you can buy it, um by itself if you want but i think with the switch online expansion you get it for free if if my mind serves me correct if i'm if i'm wrong let me know in the in the comments um but yeah like this dlc looks nice it's pretty expensive though it's like 20 it's 25 dollars like i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't pay that much for it i would i mean if i were to pay for it i'd use like some of my uh gold points um but yeah, definitely not for 25 bucks. Especially since I don't even know how much how um much time I would spend in in the, on this island, but you know what? It's a good way to add, to bridge the gap between Happy Home Designer and New Horizons. That's nice. Um but I I still plan on getting the DLC eventually. Uh and then Mario Party Superstars, we just went over this one. Looks great. Um, and then Killer Thrillers, uh, Metroid Dread, and, um, Diablo 2 Resurrected, and Dusk, and some not non-thrilling games, like, thriller games. Uh, Just Dance 2022, yeah, that's to be expected. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which is, has double, um, points, that's, how, how many points does it give you? 300 times 2, so, 600, that's actually pretty good, that's like, 6 full dollars of um of gold points right then and there uh hyrule warriors age of calamity um i think the the second part of the expansion pass just got released for this one on the um pretty sure it did right this is the demo um hold on I'll just wait for this to load it'll, it'll load up in just a minute Some, like my wi-fi is kind of like um crapping out on me a little bit uh yeah the expansion pass is like I'm pretty sure both of the DLCs are out for for the expansion pass. Um, and then Pokemon Cafe Remix, not even just a mix, a remix. Uh, Voice of Cards, The Isle Dragon Roars. Uh, I remember when this game was first announced in the Nintendo Direct. Like, I was, like, I think during my, like, reaction video on it, I was like, huh? And then I see, like, Yoko Taro's name. It's like, oh, that guy. It's uh, the Nier Automata guy. Huh. <laughs> And then that's how I, like, knew about that game. And then some Sonic games. Um, all this, the, the physical Sonic games for the Switch. Um, I think I, I have all of these except, um, well, I have, some of these I have in d other consoles, like, uh, Sonic Mania. Well, I have, I have Sonic Colors Ultimate on PS4. And then, like, I have Sonic Forces on PS4 digitally. And same with Sonic, well, Sonic Mania, I have Sonic Mania Plus on PS4. I made that more complicated than it needed to be. Uh, and then some spooky fun uh, with uh, Lu with Luigi's Mansion 3, C Cozy Grove, uh, Lost and Random, and Don't Starve. I never heard of Lost and L Lost and Random. Is that what that says? It, it should say random. If it's not random, then it's Radam. Uh, Cozy Grove. Uh, but I, I know who a don't, don't Starve is. I've never played it, though. Uh, Shin, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Um, it's cool this is still coming. I just haven't... Uh, 
just I know nothing about this series and with Persona still. And then Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this on Switch or on PS4. I mean, I mean, and this is really cool that like Grand Theft Auto's like it's finally coming to the Switch, like a Nintendo home console, but with these ones, not with GTA V, which is, would make more sense, but. I guess we now know that Rockstar is uh is really really stupid. Um, Star Wars: Knights of the Republic. That's, that's the re not well, it's not the remake. It's a port of the original. The original, not original. Whatever I said. Disco Elysium. I've heard that's a good game. Uh, Dying Light. Um, Tetris 99. Happy Game. It's literally just called Happy Game. Uh, hold on. I, I gotta look into this one. It's, it's another one that, again, I've never seen before, but I, I just have to know what this is. Sweet Dreams Await, <laughs> Smiley, Smile Emoticon. Uh, wait, what's this? What's it? A little boy falls asleep to a horrible nightmare. Can you make him happy again? Uh, breathe, brand new psychedelic horror adventure from the creators of Botanicula, Botanicula and Chuchil. Never heard of those games. Um, huh. So it's like, oh my god, so it's just like Little Nightmares, uh, or like some of those kind of games where it's like a horror platformer, like Little Nightmares, like, um, Inside, or Limbo, um, and I kind of like that this is all yellow, it looks mustard yellow on, like, the camera, but it's more like a brighter yellow than, yeah, than that, not, yeah, 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 no, uh, WarioWare, um, Zelda Skyward Sword HD, Need to get Warrior Wear. I think that one. I think that one's also. I think that one's on my Christmas list. World War Z, another late Switch port. But hey, you can play it digitally now. Yay! Uh, Pokemon Unite. I don't even know what this one's about. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, the best Smash Bros. competitor, and I still want to get it. I, I mean, come on. What other game? What other just game period where SpongeBob? No, where Powder Toast Man can beat up Invader Zim. What game? No, or what about beating Lincoln La... No, beating, uh, who's the most powerful character here? Uh, be <laughs> beating up, uh, Aang with Lincoln Loud. Only, <laughs> only in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And plus, there's gotta be DLC characters. There has to be. In a game like this, you need DLC characters. Uh, ever since the, the memes started coming for this game. Uh, Jackbox 8, that one's still on my, uh, my wish list on PS5, at least. Uh, same with Monkey Ball. Well, Monkey Ball's actually, actually on my, uh, Christmas list. And then Tetris Effect. Um, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna play this one. Um, it's free right now on Xbox Game Pass. I've been playing it on my brother's Xbox. Well, I have been using my brother's, uh, Xbox One, um, like for like for a good while now, and it's it's uh it, this game's free on Game Pass, like the connected one. Uh, so I'll, I'll give it a try on there, and then come to a conclusion. Sonic Colors Ultimate. I don't know if like the port's been fixed for this one. Yeah, but even then, the port isn't like as bad as people were making it out to be, from what I've heard. Uh, Diablo Two again. Uh, no, we've already went to the recent releases. Now for the great deals. This better be good. Uh, it, it better be as good as the 3D Doritos that I'm eating. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you for coming to my um, 3D Doritos ASMR. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I don't often do ASMRs. Well, this isn't really an ASMR. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, and the great deals. We got some, what do we got for some great deals? Amnesia the Collection for only three bucks. Okay, if, um... I gotta jump on this one, like, maybe. Three dollars, that's a really good deal. Uh, Overcooked, some of the, actually, all these are going away for, like, in a couple hours, or in, like, a few days. So, like, if this video goes, like, if you see this video tomorrow, chances are they're probably gonna be gone, or just wait until they go on sale again. Alright, so the reason why I'm in Mario Plus Rabbids is I want to see if, like, the, uh, not the Ultra Challenges pack, it's the, um, the Donkey Kong one is that one free? Oh no, it's not on sale yet. I wanted to see because I want I still want to try that DLC. And I, actually, now that I think about it, I should finish um, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle because I'm close to the end. 
Um, Resident Evil 4, hell yeah. Um, Donut County, that was, that's a good one. I've heard that's a good game. Escape is 2, the Game of the Year edition. Did anyone even call this their Game of the Year? I'm really curious now. Uh, Tools Up, I've never heard of it. Uh, layers of fear, uh, layers of fear, <laughs> like the, the fear, no, um, <laughs> of the fear, no, uh, layers of fear, legacy, four bucks, that's not bad, alien isolation for 1749, a call of war as gunslinger, there's a lot of good games in here, immortals phoenix rising, uh, this one just got, um, just went on sale for like $20 physically, on Switch or on uh, or for fifteen dollars on other consoles. I actually just picked it up on PS Five for twenty bucks because it was on clearance at Walmart for twenty bucks. I should have waited for the fifteen bucks, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, and I can't. I'm looking forward to playing it on PS Five because one I can play uh, one one version because I have it on Switch also. One I can play portably, and then another I can play in like Ultra HD and with trophies and like. Being able to like, stream it easier and whatnot. You know, got the best of both worlds. Uh, Monster Prom. Is this a party game? This sounds like a game that would be in uh, Jackbox. I mean, and there is a game like it. It's like something with Monster. Something Monster Party, I think, in Jackbox. I think it's Jackbox 4 I'm thinking of. Uh, Guacamelee, uh, the Super Turbo Championship Edition. It's another game that's on my list to play. Is Guacamelee. And actually, I think the sequel's on... Uh, Xbox Game Pass, I believe. Uh, Worms WMD. SteamWorld Dig. That one's, that's a good game. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, Immortals Gold Edition, if you want the, the gold one. Uh, wait, how much is Family Feud? Because me and uh, Aaron Fazbear have been uh, uh, mentioning that we wanted to get Family Feud and like do a video on it. I don't know if it's going to be on his channel or mine, but... Uh, well, I'll, I'll mention it again sometime in the future, in the future, excuse me. Uh, what remains of Edith Finch? Let's do a couple more. Uh, oh, there's Guacamelee too. I know that, like I said, I'm pretty sure this one is on Game Pass. Uh, Yeez 8, oh my god, I, I've heard. Uh, especially from my, uh, my good friend, uh, Kamui Plays. He talks, uh, so much about this game. It's like one of his favorite, uh, games of all time. Like, I want to get this. I've always wanted to get the physical version of this game. But it's, it's so expensive. Which it sucks. I want it so badly. And then, um... That. <laughs> that. I just noticed that. Waifu Discovered 2 Medieval Fantasy. Yeah, more. it's more than a medieval fantasy, boys. Uh, oh my god. What is with these, these games? I keep seeing them every time I hop on the eShop. Uh, Turnip Boy... Uh, let's see, two more. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, the first one. Um, are there, are the rest of them on here? I'm not sure. Alright, and then one last one. It's probably, like, FNAF 2. I mean, there's Blair Witch. Um, Ocean Horn. Come on, there you go. Nine Parchments. And Grey Lancer. This one, I, I've seen this one, I think. Um, don't really know anything about it. Um, but then, but like, actually, and then like, one last thing, with Five Nights at Freddy's, I've actually played the first game now, because like, all, all, the first four were all on Game Pass, like, for like, for October, and like, I didn't get to finish them, unfortunately, but like, I played through like, one, two, and three, and uh, now, now that I've like, um, played them again, like, no, now that I've actually played them, and not like, one of those people was like, oh, it sucks, but I never played it, now that I've actually sat down and played Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and 3, um, and like, and since I've grown out of that phase, I could just, I could say now that, um, I don't mind the, I don't mind the games now, and I mean, I don't think they're games from, like, me, I mean, I'll still go, I'll still go and finish them eventually, um, but, you know what, they're not bad. It's not, it's not like my favorite games ever, but like, you know, it's not bad. Um, I'll explain, I'll probably talk about it more in like some other stream or something. Alright, and then the best sellers, the top one is Mario Party Superstars, hell yeah. And then Metroid Dread is like right after it. I still, I need to finish this game. I think I'm at like the, the, I'm not sure how far, I'm like three hours in I think. So good. One of the best games of the year. 
uh, Unravel 2, Minecraft, Animal Crossing. So like pretty much most of the usual the usual suspects are here, and plus like some indie stuff. Like there's Lego Harry Potter, the most obscure indie game. No, uh, Scott Pilgrim, Diablo 2, Little Nightmares, Amnesia, uh, Jackbox 8, Zelda, Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition, Hollow Knight. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. And for the downloads, what about the downloads? Hmm. I feel like I know what the top one is. Is it Among Us? It's not. It's number two. It's like right it's right there. Um Stardew Valley's number one. Uh and Hob. I don't know what this game is, but it actually looks pretty cool. Like it looks like Zelda somewhat. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild inspired. Uh Skull. Uh, what, what's this game? Is it another, like, Zelda-style game? I guess so. Or maybe it's, like, also Bullet Hell. It looks like. Uh, Blasphemous. Uh, Little Nightmares again. Let me go into that page that when I didn't want to. Uh, Outlast. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Hollow Knight again. Cuphead. Uh, the Castlevania Advance Collection. I, I definitely want to get this. The first tree, is this on my wish list? Because this looks like a game that I would so put on my wish list just based on how it looks visually. Like, I want this. Is it on my wish list? Yeah, it is on my wish list because I remember, like, a game about a fox. Not, not Spirit of the North, but, like, another game that had a fox in it. Like, look at that. Like, that's, that's gorgeous. Like, I, like, I want this. It's ten bucks. That's actually not a bad price. For that game, so maybe someday I will. Uh, Outlast 2, uh, Oxenfree. I've heard of this game, but I don't know anything about it. Uh, Zombies Ate by na My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. Huh. Uh, Tetris Effect again. Uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I've seen physical copies of this game. That and Cadence of Hyrule I want to get eventually. Um, and then, last one to the coming soon. Section. What is coming soon? Uh, oh, a boy in his blob. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't know this was coming to the Switch. I mean, because I always knew it as like a Wii title, um, and I've always wanted it for the Wii. Uh, a tale of friendship and jelly beans. Aw. Uh, when the plant of blo blah blah blah. Um, I'm gonna butcher this. Blah Blahania, uh, fell under the tyrannical rule of the evil emperor. One brave blob manages to, managed to free in search of, no, to flee, not free, in search of help. Uh, after crash landing on Earth, the blob finds an unlikely hero in a young boy. Together, they must return to Blobolonia and defeat the evil emperor. Yeah, I've heard really good things about this game on the Wii. It was like a, one of those hidden gems on there. And I, like, still looks, still looks really nice. And I, I would put it on the wish list, but... Stupid me didn't, uh, it didn't trim it down. Uh, one last memory. What's this? Is this one of those, um, games where you, like, walk around and, like, and, like, do a spiritual journey of some kind? Like, like the game journey? <laughs> no. Um, maybe not, but that's a nice view. Let's see. Jump into this emotional adventure and end it. And dis and discover it, the fading memories of an old man. Uh, One last memory is an emotional story driven exploration game about an old man who rediscovers his own past and lost memories on his journey through the the beauty of nature. Huh. So is this like one of those like artsy kind of games? Is it? I hope it's not like one of those like artsy movies where it's just like you where it's just like characters walking around and doing nothing. Um. Except looking at pretty scenery. I hope this is not that. Uh, because if so, that would be disappointing. Because I w uh, this, was a this would be another game I would put on the wish list. Captain Backwater. I don't, I don't know what this is. But that pirate on the bottom left is... On the, bottom, the bottom right is scaring me. Uh, Popeye. Which Popeye is this? Is this the arcade game? What the hell is this? Okay, that is definitely not the arcade game. Uh, what is this? I need I need to look at this. It's funny how like we didn't get the Popeye movie by Sony that got canceled for uh, the Emoji movie. I don't get the world sometimes. Um, 
And then we get this. Uh, what is Bluto doing? <laughs> this this doesn't even look like a finished game. Like, what is this? Like, why isn't there a, the, 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 the arcade game? Or why not, like, get that to look nicer? It looks like a cheap Steam game. Uh, Super Sammy Roll. Never heard of this game. Is, if it's one, if it's like one of those uh, marble rolling games, then I'll probably like it. Or maybe it's like Super Monkey Ball, just based on the the pictures. Uh, oh my god, another another one of these stupid anime girl games. What it, what is with these? Panic, Pretty Girls Panic Plus. This is the third one I've come across. Like stop, uh, bloody rally, bloody rally show. Uh, Lone McLone, <laughs> Lone McLone, like McLone again. Oh, and that's a weird name. Omnom, right? Wait, that Omnom. That's that's uh, cut the rope. And now it's uh, he's got a new game. Okay, uh, Fast and Furious Spy Racers Rise of Shift of One Three R. What is that title? <laughs> is that based on like the kids show on Netflix? Huh? Uh, oh my god, this is such a weird rabbit hole, this vi <laughs> this uh, version of eShop Exploration. No, it's nuts. I need to have another Dorito. I feel like I'm going nuts this episode. Or part. Oh, wait, oh, uh, still Stan. Uh, and then the, the Prince of Landis. Uh, Dog. It's just a game called Dog, but... I like the way the pixel art looks. Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and Gravity Light, this looks kinda nice. Let me go into Dog. I mean, it's a game called Dog, and... Come on. You can't go wrong with a dog. Dog, dog, dog. This is the dog game in which you must jump onto all your foes in order to, uh, move to the next level. This, the game is super fun and rated for all ages. Glad to know that. Um, but then... Oh wait, I just noticed it's Dot Dog, not just Dog. Um, yeah, wish list. Uh, that would be wish list. Then what about Gravity Light? So this one's definitely a puzzle game. Just based on, like, the title, like, Gravity Light, like, I mean, it's a puzzle game. Yeah, oh no, well, it's not really a puzzle game. A bizarre platformer about a square in space. Hmm. So it's, yeah, like, well, it, it does look a little puzzle platformer-y in a way. It's only five bucks, that's not bad, like, for... For a game like this, this looks kind of cool. Like, and it's got space. That's that's an even bigger plus for me. Blue re blue reflection. This this sounds familiar. I mean, it's another anime game, but you know what? I've I've heard of this one. I think maybe um uh again, Kamui might have told me about this game because it, it looks so familiar. Uh oh my god. That's one thing I don't like about the eShop is sometimes when, like, you're just trying to navigate, you just, like, get booted back to, like, the the regular, um, eShop page. Like, that's that's one thing, that's one fault against, like, the eShop is, like, the interface is kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, I was, I was at Blue Reflection. Airborne Kingdom. I like the, just based on, like, the, um, that image, that looks really nice, but... If this is like a RTS, RTS game, I, I don't think so, because that's not my genre. Uh, American, <laughs> American Hero, that's like the most like 80s looking cover I've ever seen. Uh, Pops and Purrs Animal Hotel, ugh, no. <laughs> uh, Island Farmer, um, Minecraft meets uh, Dragon Quest Builders. And then what about some other ones? Oh, there's Grand Theft Auto. Uh, the tree, the tree, the tree loggy, uh, a pretty odd bunny. You could say that again. Uh, does that say X Force? X Force Genesis. I I'm guessing it says X Force. Uh, Fish Witch Halloween. Just call it a mermaid. It's, and plus, it, it said it's coming in November. So like, you're mi you missed Halloween by a few weeks, uh, guys. And, uh, let's see. Deep, deep, dive into the underwater fun in this breathtaking adventure. Help Beatrice decorate a fish sanctuary for Halloween. Huh. But why call her a fish, fish witch? 
Just call her like a mermaid witch or, or something like that. Also, mermaids are much cooler than that, so don't disrespect them in such a in such a way like this. Yeah, don't do that. Mermaids are much cooler than that. Uh, the Smurfs mission relief. I, I don't get it. I don't get what that pun's supposed to be. Uh, mash the though is together. It's a weird title. Um, so it's like one of the. Is it like that game? Uh, N plus that I that I um that I played earlier this year. It, it kind of looks like it just based on how vi it looks visually. NASCAR Heat, uh, Sports and Wild Pinball is another one of those pinball games again. Monobot, uh, Danganronpa S. Oh, oh, this is all the this is all the Danganronpa games. Huh. I thought they were all gonna be released in one bundle. Guess not. Oh, there's Pokemon Legends, Arceus. I don't think I mentioned that one. Triangle Strategy is not even called Project Triangle Strategy. Just Triangle Strategy now, baby. Uh, Advance. Oh, Advance Wars got delayed. Aw, aw, that sucks. But um, hey, if if it's a if it means a better product, I'm all for a delay. Plus, maybe it's better that it releases in April, cause then uh, December is usually around the time when like. Um, game like big high profile games stop getting released because you know it's Christmas time and you know like mo most people probably wouldn't go out and and uh, get like a game like a game for themselves around like Christmas time so I get I guess I get the rule the delay for being April but eh. and then Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope I, I want this I want this game now. Um, and then Star Wars Hunters. Who cares? Uh, and then, um, and then as for the Switch Online, I haven't done the expansion yet. Like, yeah, check the membership. Like, I, I have, uh, I did install these. I did install the, um, uh, the Nintendo 64 games and the Sega Genesis games, but I haven't accessed them yet. Cause again, I haven't, yeah, see no expansion pack, unfortunately. And then, I, I don't have Happy Home Paradise for Animal Crossing either, but, you know, in due time I will. Or maybe even, like, after this video. You never know. Um, so yeah, that is it. So thank you all for watching the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is, I'm not sure what it's gonna be. You'll see in the next couple of days, or tomorrow, I have no idea. Oh wait, actually, no, I do know what it is. So, um... I do have my last two Super Mario Galaxy 2 videos. Like, I have them recorded. They, I recorded them, like, last week, like, right before, um... It was, like, days before Halloween, but... They're gonna be posted tomorrow, probably. It's, like, a double upload. I'll even make a computer... A community post, not computer post. Excuse me. Uh, I'll make a, com a community post about, like, the last one. Um, because we're about to finish Super Mario Galaxy 2. And it's gonna be amazing like and then i'm gonna um ha uh, breathe a big sigh of relief and uh and feel free to follow me on social media links will be in the description and see you in another place where we don't see a bunch of weird anime things that that just <laughs> bring out the weird thing the weird parts of us men uh so shock the world and us amiibros goodbye